the old mill dam, and uh, we're, we're at the probably close to the end of the salmon migration. Starting in the fall, probably the end of September, right up until first couple of weeks in November, we have a major salmon migration running through the river systems of Toronto. Salmon spend most of their life out on Lake Ontario, and then when it comes time to spawn, salmon return back to the river that they were born in uh, to complete their life cycle. You can see up to 30 pound salmon jumping over the, the barriers and natural uh, barriers within the river systems, trying to make their way up as far as they can into the river system to spawn. Uh, they're called terminal spawners, and so once they finish their spawning uh, cycle, they actually die and uh, the, the nutrient-rich bodies return back to the river system uh, where it feeds small benthic invertebrates, uh, which in turn feed the small uh, young salmon. And while they know that the salmon population is strong here at the lower ends of the river, what they really want to monitor is how far up the river they're getting this year. To do that, they're asking for the public's assistance. There's an interactive map on their website that you can click on to not only see where the salmon have been spotted, but also where you can report how far up the river system you have spotted salmon. TRCA monitors more than just salmon. We monitor all the natural environments within the GTA, including the aquatic and, and, and terrestrial systems. Uh, we look at the, uh, the health and we monitor the health of the, the, of the natural environment, including the river systems and Lake Ontario waterfront. Well, you can find that interactive map and other information about the salmon run on the TRCA website. Alongside the Humber River, Audra Brown, City News.